Hey everybody, good afternoon, good evening, good morning if it is. It's Alan Bernice Friday here in Texas where I'm at. My name is Glenn Trahan. I want to talk a little bit today about decontamination, also known as decon. For those of you who are in the hazmat scene, you know that there's four types of decontamination that we might find ourselves being a part of. The one that we plan on is technical decon. And technical decon is when we make sure that the people that come out of the contamination zone, the hot zone, get everything cleaned off of them that we are able to detect. When they get done with the technical decon, we should not be able to detect any contamination on them so that when they come out of their suits, they come out of their respiratory protection, they go to rehab and medical screening, they are clean so they're not cross-contaminating anybody with secondary contamination. If we have to have decon for a large group of people, I want you to think of a huge mass because mass decon is just that. When we have so many potential patients or so many individuals who need to be decontaminated that it surpasses the ability of the technical decon crews, we've got to get these individuals cleaned up so we can get them transported for medical evaluation. We can, whatever the reason, we do mass decon. If you come out of a scene where there was just all kinds of big goop all over you, and it's really gross, we're going to do gross decom, where we're getting the larger pieces of contamination off of you prior to sending you to get cleaned up. The last, but... It's actually the first because this decon that we're going to talk about now is the first thing that you set up before you let anybody go into a contamination zone. And it is emergency decon. And what emergency decon is for is for all of the stuff that we planned on doing not being able to be done because something unplanned occurred. We had a suit malfunction. We had a line, a respirator fail, and we have to get them out right now. We don't have the time that technical decon takes. We're gonna do emergency decon. When we set these up, I care about life, and I'm not worried about where the water's gonna go. Now, in reality, I am worried about where it goes, but right now, we have an emergency and my priority, as much as the environment needs to be, takes second to the life safety of the individuals who went in. On technical decon, on mass decon, I care about where the water is going to go that we're using to rinse these individuals off and wash them off with. And I'm keeping that water together so that I can properly dispose of it. With gross decon, I'm hosing a firefighter off outside of the structure after they've gone through and gotten soot all over them and they just they've just covered in filth i want to hose that off before they even start to get out of their stuff to get cleaned up because i don't want them to get cross contaminated decon decontamination is the way that we make ourselves clean so that we can prevent cancer so that we can prevent other people getting affected so that we can keep everybody safe responders and every around us. Hope you learn a little bit about the four different types of decom, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.